everyone. So the first quarter of 2018 has officially passed and I'm pretty proud that I'm pretty much on track for all of my New Year's resolutions. Um, one of my New Year's resolutions is to read 20 books this year and so far after three months I've successfully read six books already. Um, it's pretty much an achievement considering everything that I'm like busy with and I'm pretty proud of it. Um, so I thought why not share with you my reviews for the six books that I've read so far. Let's go! So the first book that I read is Note to Self by Connor Franta. I actually did not know that Connor is a YouTuber until after I bought the book and read the book. Um, I came across this book when I was at the bookstore and I was really attracted by the pink cover with the flower and like I read a few pages I I like that it is like a personal diary of this person and it comes with like you know besides some journal entries there are like pretty photographs that he took um, you know along with some poetries and they are really beautiful written words. I like that it is a combination of really personal stuff that touches about his experience of being a gay and like opening up, coming out of it and also um, his experience with depression and I bought this book because I think it will look good on my bedstand um, which is why I got it. If you enjoy reading like you know people's personal blog posts I think this is a book that you will like. The second book that I read is Girl in Pieces by Kathleen Glasgow. It is a fiction about this young girl who has some self-harming issues and her experience in going into the home and trying to get out of it and you know it's just her personal struggle in it. Um, I believe this is a young adult fiction which is not my usual genre but I don't know I was just gravitated towards this whole self-harming situation. Perhaps it's like after watching 13 Reasons Why. I started having this thing about teenage kids and like their personal struggles and it's I think it's a beautiful way in a sense that the author has managed to capture that that struggle that this girl has. The third book that I read is not really a book but a short collection of essays written by Anna Arcana. It's called Surviving Suicide. Um, it's a collection of essays that Anna has decided to share with the public a few years after her sister's suicide. It does get really personal and raw. Like I can't deny, I teared up and I got a little bit, you know, not depressed, but I got a bit blue while I was reading it. It's it's sad, but I think it's a good book to read if you want to know how it's like for the family of someone who is suicide especially you know Anna's sister she was only 13 years old and it's it's crazy okay so um, I'm gonna add the link to the PDF down at the description box below um, read it at your own discretion like um, just be careful while you're reading it okay <laughs> the fourth book that I read it's For One More Day by Mitch Album, and I'm sad to say that it's another suicidal book. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. I've been reading all this like self-harming mental health suicidal book the past quarter. I need to stop doing this. But anyways, I love Mitch Album. I've read Tuesdays with Maury, um, The Five People That You Meet in Heaven. I've read a couple books from Mitch Album and I love, I love, love his way of writing. Um, this book is a fiction about this man who, who shared about his experience after his suicide. For One More Day, it's kind of like his journey um, that he had just for one more day after his suicide with his mom who had already passed away. Um, this is not really a spoiler because like it's written in the details on Amazon itself you know. So um, Mitch Album has a way of describing characters and giving some life lessons in really subtle and smooth ways and that's why I love it. 
um, definitely this book is something that teaches you a lot about you know gratitude and appreciation for your family and trying to communicate unlike the previous two books that I read um, surviving suicide and also girl in pieces this comes from a more inspirational angle it moving on we finally have a book that is not suicidal the fifth book that I read it's how to be a Baos by Lily Singh I briefly mentioned that I was reading this book in my get ready with me vlog superwoman is a woman who is really gung-ho about everything that she wants to achieve in life and she's just so powerful and empowering and she's just so uh, she's just so tough in a really comedic and funny way you know like other self-help books it's not one of those books that i can't get my hands off um, it took me a while to finish this book but i do enjoy the many techniques the many ways that you can help to be a boss um, it most of the techniques are about taking actions and like you know getting there right now if you're looking for something to push you definitely read this book because it it's it comes in a really fun perspective it's kind of like a game it's not just you know a really boring self-help book so the last book that i read in the past quarter it's big little lies by leon moriarty it's the book that the american series is based on it actually stars pretty huge stars like nicole kidman and reese with a spoon and i plan to watch the show now that i'm done reading the book this is a fiction about a murder that happened in uh, kindergarten's parents trivia night so like one of the parents got killed and it's kind of like the mystery that goes along it exposing the murder at the end I actually read another book by Leanne Moriarty before I love the way she describes the characters and you know the plot that goes with it and slowly building up to a really good breakthrough at the end um, I love this book I think I would actually rate this book like 4.5 out of 5 it was addictive I love it I think I'm gonna you know check out other books by this author because like I'm starting to like her a lot and yeah that's that's pretty much the books that I read in this quarter they are definitely quite dark and mysterious with lots of like murder and suicide and self-harming um, but I enjoyed reading I love reading because it gives me a time to rest from having too much information given to me especially in this time where we are so dependent on social media and we are so used to like getting so much information I like how reading enables me to imagine to picture and to like you know hear the voices of the author in my own head instead of out of the speaker um, it's definitely something that I enjoyed and I hope that I'm able to keep up with this pace for the rest of the year that way I'll be able to achieve my New Year's resolutions of hitting 20 books um, that's pretty much it for today let me know oh yeah I'll be leaving the links of the books that I mentioned down below let me know in the comments box below if you have any books to recommend me for the rest of the year I don't really have a fixed reading list yet um, I read according to my mood I just read whatever I want to um, that's pretty much it. I'll see you in my video next week and goodbye. Bye bye. Hey, good morning. Um, I'm currently stuck in a traffic jam and I realized that I actually haven't announced who between my nieces has won the nieces dress me up challenge thing that we did on YouTube to basically two of my nieces they did makeup for me and they chose an outfit for me and they dressed me up you can check the video out on YouTube and uh, based on the votes on YouTube and Instagram Melissa has won the challenge so um, Melissa actually did a makeup that's like really rock star chic biker girl Kind of style and she failed in her wing I don't know she failed but she won the challenge yes Melissa's won and I actually think both of them did a really great job if the vote is only based on YouTube Denise would have won so it's pretty close it's pretty close I have the number of votes um, written in my notebook I'll tell you I'll tell you both the number of votes later today okay 
Um, okay, I gotta get back to driving. This is very dangerous videoing and um, driving. I'm trying to kill myself over here. Don't follow what I'm doing, kids.